welcome back guys to part 8 on PHP and MySQL based newsletter system. Today we would be going ahead and we would be creating a page to edit our newsletters or to send them out. So very first I want to code this particular sign out button that we are missing from a very long time. So just go to the scripts folder out here, create a new file, name it to sign out.php. sign up dot php and we will only have to write some couple of lines in order to destroy our sessions and then log the uh, like log the user out successfully so i'm going to say if is set dollar session the name of the session we created i don't even remember so i'm going to check it out from here okay that was session name so I'm gonna say if a set dollar session name if that particular session has been already set up then go ahead and do the following function and make sure that you are starting a session on the top then only we can destroy a session otherwise we cannot so here I'm gonna say uh, session destroy it's okay very simple and head the person back to the login page so that would be header location to one folder down to login.php page else okay don't do anything else what else so what we are doing is first we are starting a session then we are making sure that that particular session has been set then we are destroying that session guys there are some other ways to destroy a session like some people do a session unset or some do only unset you can read about it on php.net but for now I'm only gonna use session destroy and uh, then we will go to our includes folder out here we will open the nav.php file or I would say header I'm not sure let me check out okay that's header.php okay where it says sign out I'm gonna create it like uh, anchor tag so ERF would be to the scripts folder slash sign out dot php. Okay. Uh, we can put this sign out inside our anchor tag. Come back, refresh the page. You see a different color because we didn't provide any styling to this particular anchor link. That's fine. I'm gonna hit sign out. Let's see what happens. Okay, it redirected me back to the login.php page. Let me access the index.php page again. It will not because that particular session has already been destroyed. So I have to log in again. I have to say admin at the rate admin.com. You have to use the credentials you created. Then admin. And then I'm going to hit submit. It redirected me back to this particular page. So here we were. Where it says send newsletter. We can actually see the three newsletters we created. Now we will have to create this particular page which is edit.php. Okay, just go back, come to the root folder out here, create a new file, name it to edit.php. And again, open any one of those. Okay, let's say index.php just to have the same style. Okay, I'm gonna copy everything, I'm gonna paste it down here, and uh, out here, guys. I'm gonna say if is set. Okay, one second, guys. Okay, sorry, guys, my phone was ringing, so I have to pause the video in the background. I'm really sorry for that. Now, what we have to do here is we will have to list that particular newsletter that uh, we clicked. So, on the very top, first, you will have to get that newsletter ID. So, I'm gonna create a new PHP opening and a closing tag here I'm gonna say <coughs> dollar ID will be equal to dollar get ID not actually ID that would be yep dollar get ID like this so if I will echo it out you will see that will echo three out here so let's go back refresh this particular page I'm gonna click here it says three on the top okay so anything we are getting from a url that would be from the request of get okay and the way we submit the form is the request post so we don't want to echo anything out 
just using this particular ID, we will have to grab that newsletter and we will have to show the entire information on this particular page. So first, I'm going to create a table out here, as we always do. I'm going to open some table rows and table heads. Here I'm going to say newsletter name, or I would say template name. No, that was newsletter name. Right, newsletter name, after that, uh, I'm going to show senders, email, okay, then would be the senders name, some important information after senders name, that would be news, I'm going to go to newsletter, and we can have uh, the subject actually. I want to say subject, or we can have this one out here after the newsletter name. Okay, that's all. And once we would be, uh, you know, ending the table, then we're gonna have a very big dev where we can actually display the entire description. Again, guys, we'll go back to the scripts folder, and in this folder, uh, as we are always writing our PHP scripts, we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna say individual news there because we are getting one at a time I say individual edit.php okay and again opening the PHP tags including some important files that would be the connection file so that would be connection.php and our session file as well to make sure that no one is actually accessing this page as well without logging in. Okay. Now, one more thing we need to make sure is that the person is coming to this page after hitting that particular preview link. So I'm going to say if it's set dollar get ID, then only show this page, otherwise, throw them an error, something like this. Else, Echo, please select the newsletter to uh, to do anything or whatever. Please select an, an, the newsletter or a valid newsletter, I can say. A valid newsletter. So go back out here. If someone try to play some tricks, they will try to. Okay, uh, it says undefined index ID. Okay, guys, let me check out. Is it dollar? Okay. No. That would be here for save it. Because we are getting the ID out here, we will have to take it off. Okay, something like this. And uh, include that file which, is, which says individual edit. I'm going to include that file to this file. Yep, that's right. Individual edit.php. The session has already been started. The people are ignoring it. So we can take it off. It says, please select a valid newsletter. Right now, it's saying it on the top. But later, I'm going to make sure they will not see anything out here. They will only see it once they will select the newsletter. I just want to give you guys a demo. That's why I did that. Okay, out here. Then I'm gonna say dollar SQL my SQL query that would be select all from newsletter where ID is equal to dollar ID that we will create out here. So dollar ID will be equal to the get variable we got. Okay, guys, if you are confused about anything, please do not hesitate. Go ahead and leave some comments. I'm going to help you out. But I believe everything is quite simple. And if you are not able to run this query, just go ahead and give us an error. Okay, then I'm going to say if SQL, if only that query is successful, then go ahead and do one thing is dollar row will be equal to my SQL fetch array 
from the query dot SQL and do it in a while. No, no, no. I don't need any while situation because you would be only pulling one newsletter at a time. Okay, went out here. I can say extract dot row so that we can use everything from this table like the variables. Okay, then out here I'm gonna say echo this table copy it cut from here paste it to that file right so I call this table and out here we have to make one more table row that would be TD the name would be uh, that's daughter temp name. Daughter temp name. The next TD would be equals to dollar subject. The next one will be daughter sender email. That would be sender, not setter. Okay, the next one would be dollar center name so that's look quite okay and here the table width needs to be 100 percent and this particular tr should align to left because by default table heads are set to go to the center come back on line 12 where is our line 12? This is our line 12. Okay, because we are missing the semicolon out there. Come back, it says please select a well as new newsletter because we don't have anything out here. Like we haven't selected any newsletter. So go back. Oh my gosh, what it's doing? Why it's doing everything on the top? Okay, I got it because we have included this file on the top. So I'm gonna take it from here and I will paste it down here. So refresh, yep, we have it. One more thing we can do, we can keep it inside a div. So I can say div edit newsletter. Okay, something like this. And then we can go to our CSS file and we can provide it some styles. So here I'm going to say edit, newsletter, should have a padding of 10 pixels with the width to 960 pixels and the margin to auto. Some very basic styles. Margin, auto, yep, come back, refresh it. Okay, we got it. So the newsletter name is Tark. The subject is this. The sender's email is my email, and the sender's name is my name. 